Today we are going to discuss Sutra number 17 from Patanjali Yoga Sutra Samadhipada. Please repeat this Sutra along with me. Vitarka, Vichara, Ananda, Asmita, Rupa, Anagamat, Sambragnata. Vitarka, Vichara, Ananda, Asmita, Rupa, Anagamat, Sambragnata. Vitarka, Vichara, Ananda, Asmita, Rupa, Anagamat, Sambragnata. Here we are going to understand the layers much deeper which is revealed through steady concentration on objects, steady dhyana on an object, thought, insight and future. Here in Vitarka means reasoning, Vichara means reflection, Ananda means joy, Asmita Rupa means ego, Anagamat means accompanied by Sambrajnata, it is a distinguished form of Samadhi. Concentrated from our Samadhi. Here in this Sutra, Padanjali Magarishi highlights the stages of Sambrajnada Samadhi. To the stage of meditative absorption. In this powerful Sutra, Mitarka Vichara Ananda Asmita Anagama Sambrajnata refers to the different dimensions of awareness and experiences that can arise during meditation. Let's break down these stages much deeper. Here, Vitarka represents the initial thoughts or conceptualization. It is a stage where the mind begins to focus on a specific object or idea during meditation. Vichara follows after Vitarka, which represents sustained attention and continued exploration of that idea or object. As we deepen our practices, we move into Ananda, Ananda, a state of bliss and profound joy. In this stage, we experience a deep connection with our inner self and a sense of unity with the universe. Finally, Asmita arises, which is the sense of I am, the awareness of our true essence and existence, the ego state. These stages of awareness and experiences are not separate, but rather they flow seemingly. These stages of awareness seamlessly flow one after another from Vitarka to Vichara to Ananda. Then comes the I amness, the ego, Asmita. Through the practice of this meditation, we can cultivate and explore the different dimensions of consciousness that will lead to a state of Samadhi, which is here explained as Sampakshata Samadhi. So, Padanjali Magarisi is discussing this uh, stage of uh, Sambrakshata Samadhi, uh, the, the flow of Samadhi, how the Samadhi is able to achieve from Vitarka, that is for the person with the initial thought level process, uh, focusing on an object or an idea during meditation, the first level, to Vichara, to get the sustained attention and continued exploration of that particular idea or object. Then once we get move into the dharana and dhyana stage, we, we get a profound bliss and uh, joy. In this stage, we experience a very deep connection with our uh, inner self that we realize that we are Purusa and we could able to realize our ultimate connection with the universe, unity with the universe. Finally, we could able to see the Bhairava in us. That is like in the state of Asmita when we understand that uh, the I amness, the, 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 the final layer of understanding who we really are, the, the, we see the ego only exists. That awareness state uh, with the true, true essence and existence of the self, we could able to find where we can identify the real Purusa. So these stages is explained in much deeper uh, way. So the uh, heart of the practices uh, was that we can able to do uh, on a daily basis. So uh, we have a practice called Savikalpa Samadhi Kriya. So by this practice we can go inward from the gross, the material body, understanding of the gross to the more subtle and to realize the, uh, the separate purusa self from nature, from nature prakriti 
from gross level to layer by layer so we are passing the each layer of cosas to realize the final cosa with this uh, the purusa and the like layer peeling up all the layers all the cosas and all the panjat cosas right uh, anamaya cosa pranamaya cosa vijnanamaya cosa anandamaya cosa and then finally we could when you anandamaya cosa is wow the, the the state of bliss probably uh, is mentioning here so of the beyond uh, feeling that anandame anandam anandame ekosa you could able to see the real self that is purusa so uh, here are simple procedures that you can do uh, for as an early beginner uh, in yoga sadhanas so is it establish a daily meditation routine time and again i am saying repeatedly in each sutra the practice is to you need to have a meditation routine dedicate a specific time and space for your daily meditation practice create a peaceful and comfortable environment that supports your inward journey focus on an object or a mantra which you like choose a specific object symbol or mantra as your focal point during meditation this helps to anchor your attention and cultivate concentration second is cultivate mindful awareness begin your meditation by observing your thoughts emotions and sensations without judgment allow them to arise and pass while maintaining a non reactive and detached awareness then explore concepts and ideas during meditation you may naturally experience a stage of vitarka where thoughts and concepts arise instead of getting carried away by these thoughts maintain a witness like awareness and gently redirect your focus back to your chosen object or mantra sustain attention and contemplation yes your private practice is getting deeper deepening you move into the stage of vichara here sustain your attention on your chosen focal point and engage in deeper contemplation explore the nuances and layers of meaning within that object or mantra allowing insights to arise naturally then cultivate joy and bliss with continued and sustained practice you may enter into the stage of ananda where you experience a sense of profound joy and interconnectedness you embrace this feeling of bliss letting it permeate your entire being and deepen your connection with the present moment then realize the sense of self yes you yes your practices is getting evolved and mature you may enter into the stage of asmita where you become aware of your true essence and existence recognize the fundamental i am the me the self understanding the purusha in you beyond the transient thoughts and identities understand that you are bhairava the ishvara you and the ishvara understand the god in you understand that you are the bhairava you are ishvara you are shiva surrender to the flow of experience throughout your meditation practice remain open and receptive to the flow of these experiences allow the stage of vitarka vichara ananda and asmita to naturally unfold without clinging or resisting trust in the transformative power of your practice remember the practice of dhyana and samadhi is a deeply personal journey be patient persistent and compassionate with yourself as you explore these stages of consciousness each meditation session this dhyana practice session is an opportunity for growth self discovery and self realization from this profound teachings from patanjali magarishi yes i conclude this video i encourage to embark on this journey of self discovery and self realization through peeling away the dross and getting deeper deeper to realize your own purusha the bhairava
through the stages of vitarka vichara ananda smita anagamat sambhashnata embrace the rich and transformative experiences that meditation offers and cultivate a deeper connection with your true self thank you for joining me in this very enlightening sutra sutra number 17 of samadhi pada from padanjali yoga sutras don't forget to like share and subscribe to my very folk channel to get more insightful content for you and for others om tat sat om tat sat om tat sat please subscribe to our vedi books youtube channel by clicking on the bell icon